the building. Okay, what's up? I was wondering if you're okay. You okay? Yeah. You're looking, you're looking a little hungry. A little bit. I've got some goodies down in the office. You want to come get some to eat? Yeah. I'm Dr. Bob. Tony. Tony, come on, we'll get you fixed up here. Tony, I got a feeling that you could use more than a meal. Looks like maybe you could use some work, some money. Well, I'm involved in a few enterprises that could use somebody like you. Look like you've got some ambition, but could use some work. We might be able to set you up so you don't have to be hungry again. Some of that. I'll bet you uh, could use a place to sleep too. Have you seen where I was staying in there? Well, we can fix you up with a better than average place of your own. Well, you have, some, have some spending money to go with it. Get down to the office, so I'll tell you what I have in mind. See, make yourself comfortable. Maybe hey, you're an apple juice guy. I like that. You like uh, maybe? Uh, how about a? Uh, Let's see here. Golden almond. You look like a golden almond guy. Some fruit? Why well, are you doing this for me? Let me tell you what I have in mind when you have that stuff, Tony. Just before I saw you upstairs, I was making a list. I'm looking for some help in the area of product distribution. I think you'd fit with uh, our local protection service, maybe help with collection on overdue bills. Hey, Dr. Bond, this is money. All right, hold on. I'll get it to you tomorrow. First thing, I swear, okay? Okay. Escort and entertainment. You look like you could handle that, too. Sounds interesting. Well, there's one big thing that's important to us, and that's trust. And there's something said to me when I saw you in that room, this guy can be trusted. You can know that you can trust us. There was trust, and he made me feel safe. <sighs> How's that fit? It's nice. Yes. Then this guy came out of nowhere. Was he part of a rival gang, an assassin? Never quite found out. Oh. And Alfred tried to follow him. Finally, you got to Dr. Bob. Just then, I realized how dangerous this game was getting. Without a gang, I was out on my own again. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, I just I can't let you get involved in this. Something I'm gonna handle myself. Um, hope you understand. I 